Okay guys, you asked for it, I promised it. Here's the video I'm going to do that's going to basically debunk this Two Sons thing that we've been seeing videos of forever. Uh, you know, the, the little movie I did on my cell phone camera just didn't cut it for a lot of people. They thought that uh, there was something I was manipulating or they couldn't see what was happening or that the object wasn't behaving the way that other pictures were behaving. So I'm going to do this in one continuous shot. I'm going to disclose everything I'm doing. You'll see exactly how I can recreate this two sun effect on basically any camera and uh, how you can do it if you want and we're gonna bury this damn thing forever. So here we go. Right now the camera I'm using to film this on is a Sony, uh, what is it, a DCR SX43. Here's a little mirror image of it. Might not be able to see it too well in the mirror here. But anyways that's the camera I'm using to film it. Now what I got set up out here is a uh, basically a still photo camera that has a, a kind of a crappy video mode that I'll hopefully be able to get it all to run in one shot. Uh, I'm going to show you how to generate the two sun effect with this rig. Here we go. So here it is. It's a Canon G5. Can't see. Here. There we go. We're going to get that set up. It's not on yet, but uh, here's sun up there it's a nice clear day no chemtrails no clouds to block it out uh, unfortunately i'm not going to ruin this 800 hundred dollar camcorder by pointing it directly at the sun so i'm going to risk killing my crappy camera if i have to point it at the sun long enough to make this work uh, i'm going to set this camcorder up over here and show you how everything works now the front end of this get it turned on it has a it has a round objective lens just like most cameras do, but what it has on it is a 58 millimeter bayonet adapter that will allow me to put uh, filters on it and lenses and such. Uh, so we got that mounted over there and uh, what I'll do is I'll get it going and you can see hopefully, I don't know if you can see the actual screen or not, it might be a bit of a problem, but at any rate I'll record video on both. So they'll play hopefully together when I get them edited. And you can see there's there's all kinds of lens flares and stuff happening there. There we go. I zoomed it in. It only has a four times zoom. And uh, unfortunately, without a filter on it, it's the sun is just too bright, and you can't get anything out of it. So what I've got to do is uh, I got to put a filter in front of it just to block some sunlight out. And uh, I'll show you that in a second. Here. A stack of filters here. What I'll use for my crappy camera is a 58 millimeter uh, circular polarizer. It's nothing special about it. It's just a polarizing filter. Uh, it helps block out some of the sun anyways and it keeps it from flaring up really bad. And when I filter that in there, it'll go in perfectly straight. There. And that's just going to block out a little bit of sunlight. That'll help the camera not go completely swamped by the by the light. Now, what I'm going to do is this here is just a cheapy uh, what they call a UV filter. Really, all it does is it uh, has a, a very thin, invisible coating on the outside that uh, basically reflects uh, high 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 frequency short wavelength ultraviolet light and it just helps your pictures not be as washed out uh, when you're doing sunlight uh, photography so there's nothing really special about it it's 1.8 millimeter glass it's completely flat and this will be what generates our two sun effect so what we're going to do here is i'll get the camera set up and start filming with the actual camera and then we can start a synchronized video clip of this happening Okay, I'm now recording with the small camera. You can see my lens flares here. I'm going to try to remove it. Those little lens flares. 
wires that follow the motion of the camera. Those are normal. Every camera gets those. The, the big lines in the middle are the uh, the sensors getting swamped by sunlight, which is overexposing the sensor and causing it to smoke. Kind of a bad thing. Let me do a lot right now. Um, and the sun itself is looking really bright and washed out. Here, and I'm just going to cycle through the lens first so you can see what lens flares do. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my camcorder and grab that. You can see it's just got the polarizer filter, and the filter is threaded correctly. It's perfectly in line with the optical path, meaning that the filter element is perpendicular to the light path, and that will be a properly exposed picture and I don't know if this camera picks up the screen on my other little camera or not but it won't matter because both of them will be filming at the same time and you can see the lens flares going back and forth okay now what I'm going to do is grab this and cross thread it so that it in fact is not in line with the optical path I got to put this down for a second while I do it the camera will pick this up but now as you see I've got my polarizing filter and on top of it is the UV filter and as I rotate this filter around the polarizer you can see that the filter on the front of it is now offset it's a little skewed it's not perfectly perpendicular which means it's going to generate an offset internal reflection and that's going to cause our two sun effect and we're going to see that happening on our camera as we get back to the sun. Now all of a sudden, what you notice is that there is another little sun there. Fancy that, hey? Now watch, as I rotate my filter around, oh, let's see if I can get this off the shot here. Okay, I'll rotate this filter around. And that will follow the rotation of the filter. It's fucking amazing, hey? Just like I said it would. It'll go wherever you want it to go. And see? There's that second sun, and it's doing whatever I want it to do. Now watch this. I can move this camera. Oh, it looks like I just ran out of recording time on that. Oh, well, that sucks. see if I can get it back. For some reason the camera only allows you a certain amount of time to record even though there's lots of memory chip uh, time left. Okay, Back to recording again. Okay, hopefully that'll go for a little while. Okay, now you can see because I haven't moved the filter, if I just move the camera, that second image, it follows it. You can see that I can move the camera and the lens flares move but that little image doesn't. And now I can move my camera up and down as well. And it does not move. It stays in proportion to the light source that's causing it. So now, if I go like this, and move that filter, give it a rotation and change the offset, that sun will move all over the screen. So now if I want it in the upper right corner, I just do that. And now your second sun is in the upper right corner. It's really, really not that hard to do. Anything like shooting through pane, two pane window glass will do this. Okay, so when you see these videos that have this going on, really that's all you're seeing. You're seeing that secondary reflection. A lot of cameras have internal filters that kick in when it's bright light, internal uh, neutral density filters, and they're basically a flat piece of glass. And if they're even slightly off of that perfect uh, optical axis, they will create that secondary reflection of light inside them. And uh, so if I take the filter off, completely while my other camera is still recording that image completely goes away okay see now I've got my polarizer I can turn it any way I want everything's fine no more second suns you know what I'm saying this is basically the answer you can still see the lens flares but they're doing what lens flares do right so 
And both of these cameras are recording at the same time. You've seen everything I've done from start to finish. You've seen me take the filters off, put the filters on, turn the filters around, move the camera around. And I'm going to put both of these videos together, hopefully synchronize them, and you're going to see exactly that this is basically optical artifacts. And uh, any videos you see online that show the two suns that, that do that, you'll know exactly what they are. So hopefully that clears it up for everybody.